हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर स्कूल यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्पीक अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड इट इज द स्टूडेंट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन लेट अस बिगिन फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ड इकोनॉमिक्स वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड और वट डू वी अंडरस्टैंड बाई दिस वर्ड कॉल इकोनॉमिक्स so let us talk about this the word economics what is this economics economics is the study the study of the financial activities financial activities of an individual as a part of the society so what is this uh, word called economics we understand that economics is the study of the financial activities financial activities of an individual whose activities an individual activities and what is this activity the financial activity so let us understand this what is the meaning of this financial activities what are the things included in this word called financial activities so the financial activities includes financial activities includes buying buying and selling of products financial activities includes buying and selling of products whatever products we have got whatever products the factory is producing the buying and selling of this product is a financial activities secondly we have got arranging of loans to produce something we need money and to get loans how to get where to get where to make the arrangement this activity is called the financial activities thirdly issuing issuing of stocks or bonds Third activity is issuing of stocks. How much stocks is needed, or with him to with whom to make the bonds, the relationship. So this also comes under financial activities. Then we have organizing organizing and maintaining. maintaining of accounts we need to have accounts of every activity we do and so to organize the account and to maintain the account also comes under financial activities and lastly we can say any other any other business business activity uh with with specific monetary object 
ऑब्जेक्टिव सो लास्ट वन वीक से एनी बिजनेस एक्टिविटी विथ ए मॉनिटरी ऑब्जेक्टिव सो दिस एक्टिविटीज कम्स अंडर द फिनेंशियल एक्टिविटीज सो वी सी दैट इकोनॉमिक्स इज द स्टडी ऑफ द फिनेंशियल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल एस ए पार्ट ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड वॉट आर दिस फिनेंशियल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल द फिनेंशियल एक्टिविटीज आर लाइक बाइंग एंड सेलिंग ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स अरेंजिंग ऑफ लोन्स then issuing of stocks and bonds then we have got organizing and maintenance uh, maintenance of accounts and any other business activities with a monetary objective so these are the financial activities now let us see from where does this word economics comes from from where did it origin the genesis of this word economics so the genesis of the word economics genesis so economic the word economics it comes from the greek word greek word and what is the word the word is oikonomia economics comes from the greek word oikonomia and oikonomia is derived from two words the first one is oikos oikos which means family and nomos nomos which means rules so the word economics is derived from the greek word oikonomia which means oikos means family and nomos means rules therefore we can conclude that economic is economic is regarded as the rules rules that directs the directs the running the running of a society or a family so you see the word economics is derived from the greek word oikonomia which oikos oikos means family and nomos means rules therefore we consider economics as as the rules that directs the running of a society or family so this is from where the word economics comes from the genesis now let us come to the uh, come to the point why do we need to study this subject called economics what is our necessity what is our need why do we want to study this uh, subject called economics so let us talk about this <coughs> the necessities of economic necessity of economic in other words why do we study why do we study economics
why do we study economics we know that economics is the study of the financial activities of an individual who is part of the society and we all of us are part of the society and we are involved in different activities different economic activities fin financial activities so first of all as a good citizen as a good citizen of a country of a country we need to be we need to be aware aware of the economics economic activities economics activities in the country so as a good citizen we need to know what is happening in the country the economic activities secondly economic will make us or economics creates a civic sense in the mind of the people the study of economic creates a civic sense in the minds of the people by studying economics we come to know or we have a idea about the uh, civic uh, life of the country and thirdly as a tax payer we buy anything anything in the market we pay a certain amount of tax so when we buy we become the tax payer so as a tax payer as a tax payer we would like to know we would like to know we would like to know what we would like to know as how the government or we would like to know the manner the manner by which the government collects the revenue we would like to know the manner by which the government collects the revenue and also we would like to know how does the government how does the government spends spends the collected collected revenue the government collects the revenue and how does the government spends the collected revenue we would like to know and so how we will know we will know by studying the subjects called economics next we would like to know what are the rules the rules for collecting collecting the revenue and 
द रूल्स फॉर द एक्सपेंडिचर एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वी आर द टैक्स पेयर सो वी स्टडी इकोनॉमिक्स टू नो हाउ डज द गवर्नमेंट कलेक्ट द रेवेन्यू हाउ डज द गवर्नमेंट स्पेंस द रेवेन्यू वॉट आर द रूल्स फॉर कलेक्टिंग द रेवेन्यू और वॉट आर द रूल्स फॉर द गवर्नमेंट स्पेंडिंग और पुटिंग और मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द कलेक्टेड रेवेन्यू सो दिस आर टू नो ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी स्टडी इकोनॉमिक्स देर आर मोर पॉइंट्स लाइक like as a as a citizen of a country we would like to know why why there is increase increase and decrease decrease of prices prices of various various goods for example the price of oil going up or the price of some edibles coming down so why or how so to get the answer for this question we study the subject called economics another point uh, why we need to study economics is we can say we would like to know the meaning of the meaning of globalization meaning of globalization or uh, merits and merits and demerits demerits of globalization we have got one another point like uh, the economic development of the country of the country or the economic development of the whole world so these are the various points we as a citizen of a country we would like to know and so how we will know all these points we will know by studying the subject called economics so i hope dear students today you understood the meaning of economics what is economic economic is the financial activities of an individual who is part of a society the financial activities uh, we said buying and selling of different goods and the different business activities and the word economics comes from the word the greek word okionomia or which is derived from okios uh, means family and nomos means rules so i hope you got a clear idea of this word called economics In our next class, we are going to talk about the defini definitions of economics, which will be followed by the scope of economics. Today, I am going to end here. Uh, please go through the book, uh, read the lesson, and try to get a better idea of the uh, topic called economics. Thank you.